shot other people before. Yeah. But but this is the first person you've killed. That I know. Yeah. Exactly. That that they that they know of. That I did. Yeah. You know. No. Let's keep it straight. That I did. Well, 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 <laughs> okay. That that you did. Okay. But one one murder. It doesn't matter. I got like, several murders. One murder is too many. Right. What did you feel in that very moment? You know what? Like literally, man. I, I, you know, I couldn't even say I was in there. You know, it's like then, I, you know, what did I feel? I didn't feel I was gone. It's like I went, I crossed the dark side. I was like, you know, because here it is when that situation happened, you had, because I was that close, when I pulled the trigger, you had brain matter, like stuff flew into my face. Like that's how close you was. So it's not like, you know, what did I feel? It's like I, I was gone. Like that individual that I was, it's like I, I was gone. I lost my mind. I was not in the right state at that present time. I was a sick individual during that period of time in my life. Real niggas do real things. On the road to riches, I got my friends. Real niggas do real things. Busting my toes off the roof, drinking 90 proof in spring. Real niggas do real things. Come prepare a place your mom told you not to go play Cause those little boys only 12 and already wearing grams and shooting guns But still a handful of us that didn't get killed or sent to prison Went on to become somebody our moms can be proud of The difference is we was just trying to be the man they said our fathers once was So of course a lot of us got locked up and learned young not to talk to law enforcement It was important our dad made sure they taught us, even if we didn't learn nothing else from him. I guess that's why most of us ended up getting an ounce of powder and selling narcotics instead of going off to college at State of Carolina. And is it their faults as fathers for what they taught us as kids, even though years done passed and those little boys done grown into adults and can make our own decisions as men? Then again, those was the role models all of us come up seeing. I went from 1.6 to 1 point messages was fronting me 126 and not one time did either one of us get pinched or have any problems with law enforcement. My point is to get you to notice that both of us was real. Motherfuckers. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. For real. Hey, yo. Yeah. Uh, I never regret choosing the streets. Actually, experiencing what I've been through is why my music and lyrics so unique. 
I been the shooter and I had niggas shooting at me But that's how I usually be when you in the streets And when you in too deep you tend to meet a J. Reed And it may be a nigga you keep close They get the police their initial lead To start investigating you and start sending in CIs And taking surveillance take two That's why I stay far away from niggas with jealous actions Cause soon he gonna be one of those who tell on you too Even though he know I'm a convicted felon And how much hell I been through That goes to show you how much niggas who claim that your man care about you And that's the motherfucking truth for real. When we were done, we got back. I saw movies that when somebody does a murder, that they're sweat, they're nervous, they're scared. And I expected that to happen. I thought that's what happens to you. So when we got back, we went in an apartment. The gun was gone. He was dumped. The car was being cleaned. I went in the shower. I was in the shower with the water running on my head and down my back and waiting for that to happen. I said it never happened. It never happened to me at all. When I went to bed, I slept like a baby. The next day when I got up, people were yelling in the house, in the apartment. They killed Joe Colucci. They found him in Rockaway. I remember asking a girl, did they know who did it? Did they get arrested? She said, I don't know. I don't think so. It's not in the paper. When we went on the corner, I felt an out-of-body experience that I was above the whole crowd, watching and looking at them, and uh, I felt power. I felt power over life and death. After the streets, but look at me now. Crazy streets daily, motherfuckers. We here. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Hey yo. Uh. I grew up outside on the block where everybody was selling crack rocks and being so young I actually thought that that's what we were supposed to do. So I learned to watch how to avoid the cops and which ones I should and shouldn't sell dope to. And you motherfuckers just shook. And I know you gonna tell as soon as you get booked and led into the investigation room. You go from being a wolf and turn into Sammy the Bull, revealing everything we ever done and how many grams we used to cook. And I bet you ain't even hesitate before answering questions. Whatever happened to the man in you? You jealous too? I'm about to come through in the coop with the panoramic view. With something next to me looking cute. And it's only a few who move more grams hand in hand than I used to. Y'all don't understand how much soft these Hispanics dropped off in my hand. And when I went to pay them, they be trying to talk to me too. But I ain't understand what they were saying. All I would see is his mouth moving like how they be doing on them old Chinese movies. And I make sure. You can't say you ever saw me shooting But when I do I use a big Sig Sawyer Or this AR with the ammo box hooked to it To make it sound like it's never gonna stop if I start shooting I'm from the bottom but I'm climbing to the top Then I'ma take the whole block touring And fuck the Audemars watches, the Balenciaga and the Cubans I do this so hopefully I can get everyone in my family away from around all this shooting Then after that my niggas get the rest I just wanna get respected as one of the best No matter what level we at when motherfuckers talking music For real Nigga, yeah, ha, <laughs> crazy. Streets daily, motherfucker. We here. Uh. Hey, yo. Uh. I'm from where the young ones ain't afraid to scare to death. I guess because ever since the first grade, all we heard our parents talk about was murder and who got caught with crack. But I never heard nobody say a word about the murderer. And if anyone ever got charged, matter of fact, the world curse. And I think it's caused more niggas worshiping the devil and selling their souls like they never heard tell of hell before. Cause that's definitely where you're going just to live and look good in flesh. But I ain't spooked by no roots, chicken foots. Only the weak minded indulge in that. Cause number one, we learn the only thing we should expect in life is death. That's why I try to live righteous. Cause what good is all that cash and wealth on the day we take our last breath? That's why every day I try to change and walk cautious with every step. Cause I've been shot at before and I done went and shot back. I'm from where our arch rivals shoot at us off scooters and mopeds. But you better make sure they shoot us in both legs. Then walk up to us and shoot us in the forehead. If not, they gonna find each one of them shot full of holes. Even the one who drove gonna end up dead. 
That's cause I know if you kill everyone involved, you'll get the right one then. <laughs> now these niggas on my side, the most won't stop till they kill all of them, for real. I remember a little kid explaining how it feel to kill, and how sometimes he think he's haunted by the ghost, he said he even shot at them. That's when I thought about who he said his father is, and all the shit the little kid said he shot and did. That's when I realized he is his father kid, for real. Uh. Crazy. What I had to do to survive, I know you niggas never had to. You probably never had to shoot it. Most of you'd be scared if you had to. I'm from where by the time you're nine, your dad should be taught you how to cook crack on spoons. So by the time we enter in high school, we either playing sports or running from the narcotic force who got indictment charges on you. And what I write coincide with my life so much, this shit you hearing is really what we doing. We really going to court, pleading guilty just to avoid seeing familiar faces in the courtroom. But what's even more crazy is when those faces are your aunts and uncles that's going to court against you. But that's what the law enforced through the system. So not only do they destroy our future for us, they also destroy family trust for one another by forming loyalty and trust issues, nigga. Crazy. Yeah. Uh.